Welcome to another card making video. Today I will be making a card with the theme tiger and the style that will be used is watercoloring and fussy cutting too. I will use a 4x4 four four inch paper, white paper. It's a watercolor paper. The brand is Canson. So you will see me put water all over the paper first. I'm spreading it with my brush evenly. And then I will be using my Zig Pearlescent watercolor. I will start off with green for the bottom because I'm thinking of grass. I'm just putting it sideways. Next will be blue for the sky. I want it to dry quickly and so I will have to use my heat gun. From time to time, I flip the paper over to avoid um, to avoid the paper from curling. There. It's not so flat but it's okay. The watercolor is already dry. Next, I will stamp my images on a white scrap cardstock. I will be using two tiger stamps. And first, we apply the EK tool powder. And then, I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. And as you can see, I try my best to press it really hard for a clear image. And then, I will be using the Ranger Clear Super Fine Embossing Powder. When it's heat embossed, when the outlines are heat embossed, it's easier to keep the watercolor in place now it's time to color I'll be using my Tombow markers first I'll put it on my glass mat and then I'll get some water to put onto the image when the entire image is wet, that's the time I'll be picking up the color from my mat. I used this orange tombo and then later on I'll be getting my brown for the snout and for the chest and for the inner part of the ear and then I would also get the yellow to paint over the orange.
a bit, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my sentiment onto the background that I created earlier. So the sentiment I chose says, mm, I take pride in calling you my friend. I'm gonna use the Versifying Onyx Black Ink again, but I chose not to heat emboss it anymore. So now I'm gonna heat, heat my image a little to dry it a bit and then I'm gonna start fussy cutting. I'm gonna adhere these tigers onto the background using my scrap foam papers. It has one adhesive on one side and then I'm just gonna put glue for it to stick to the paper. And finally I will put it on my card base, my craft paper card base using my Scotch ATG. For the final touches, let me add some really tiny orange hearts and a few orange rhinestones. <laughs> 